<laughs> Someone's practicing Ravel the Balls next door somewhere. <laughs> anyway, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Apparently I speak a lot higher <laughs> when I'm on camera, so we'll see how this video goes. Thank you for coming back and I'm very, very surprised and happy that you guys commented so much on my last video and so many people watched it. It was just amazing how supportive you guys are, so thank you. And today's topic is warm up. Oh wait, I forgot. Welcome to Juilliard! This is Juilliard practice room, by the way. You can't tell the blue curtains in the back and all the practicing background music, noise, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Let's get to it! A lot of you guessed it, this week's topic will be how I warm up. As it was originally asked by Sirio, nice spelling by the way. I was walking home <laughs> at like... Da -da 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 -da. I was walking home um, after class at Columbia and it got really cold. So then I was like, hmm, I can't think of what I'm going to do for the next video. And since I was cold, I was like, oh, I wish I had an extra layer. I said, hey, why don't I just do a video on how I warm up since I've been asked this question before. So I tweeted about it and I posted on Instagram stories saying if you guessed my topic, then you'd get a shout out. So thank you. I'm on Ariane, Corey, Darren, Eddie, Ernest, Giancarlo, Yang or Jan, I'm not sure, uh, Jenny, Jesse, Joseph, JPEG, and C, Julia, Julian, Kevin, Kira, Laverne, Leo, Mike, Renal, Ryan Aguila, Ryan Soyadi, and Thomas. I'll actually start answering the question of how I warm up now. First things first, hot water or coffee or tea. In this case, I just have hot water. Just hot beverage. It's like really, really hot. I think it's common sense, right? You drink hot stuff when you're cold. So, hot beverage. Number two. Clothes. So, a lot of times, if I'm performing, or before I'm performing, or if I'm like really cold, I literally wear a gigantic coat like this. <laughs> and that's how I warm up. So that my body's actually warm and then eventually it'll get to my fingers but first i really want my body to be warm the other day at chamber music coaching i was in a gigantic coat because i was so so cold and then i warmed up after like two minutes into the brahms trio it works i'm actually really really hot right now so i'm not gonna wear this but normally i would actually be wearing a gigantic coat and playing a little bit but anyway that's my second tip wear layers and just cover yourself in clothing <laughs> all, right. <Woo>. <laughs> all right so third thing that I would say I do if I'm freezing and I want to warm up is play something that I really really like I am obsessed like obsessed with Ravel's La Balls so that would be something that I would start playing and just kind of on the slow side.
stop embarrassing myself because I haven't played this for quite some time. Another thing that I would do if I didn't have something that I really like that was on the slower side, so just now I played it a little bit slightly under the tempo and then I start picking it up as I warmed up, but another thing that I would do is just play something really slow, so remember I would play like a nocturne. keep picking things up so play something fast once you're you've played something that you're really comfortable with your hands have moved a little bit more now you can actually run so I don't know <laughs> body is warmed up. I'm actually really warm right now, so I think I did something right, I guess. I have been asked this question many times also from Jesus. Hi from Venezuela. Hello, Venezuela. Like your post, thank you. Please, can you tell us what exercises do you practice? Do you like hand-on exercise book? I get asked about exercise books and technical exercises and exercises and exercises and exercises and scales and exercises. So, the short answer would be no, I do not do any technical exercises or scales. Uh, I think they're quite boring in my opinion. For me, if you really want to play technical, ex technical exercises or just to, I guess, improve your technique or something, you, you might as well just learn a Chopin etude or a Liszt etude. It's actual music so when you play it well after many many hours of drilling and whatnot at least the end result is somewhat pleasing right not somewhat but probably very pleasing because chopin etudes and list etudes and rachmanov etudes too just you know actual music is just so much better to keep playing with the piano uh it's just so much more rewarding i think short answer is no long answer is still no <laughs> I did when I was maybe five or six, when I was really starting out. So when you start out, yes, do learn your scales because it's helpful for music theory, knowing major, minor, C major, D major, F minor, you know, all the different keys is helpful to know, especially when you're playing classical music. So if someone is, a lot of it is structured around a certain tonal key, unless you're playing atonal music, then it doesn't really matter. But if you play classical music, it's grounded on major and minor scales, keys. You kind of get to know the piece a little bit more if you already have a background, knowing what major and minor keys they are in, and just kind of scales. But that's all I have to say for this video. I am warmed up now, so I am going to go practice. Not go practice, I am already here. I'm going to start practicing now, so... If you like this video, please comment below and give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and let me know what kind of videos you would want. I know that you guys really, really want to vlog and I really appreciate all the comments because I thought I would do it on Monday, but there's no way I could just edit the video overnight. So I want to do something in between the vlog and my last video, which if you haven't seen it, you should go watch it. Yes, that's it. Thank you.